Hello YouTube. Welcome everybody. I am trying out a new way of recording. This time I'm only going to record for about 15 minutes. I wanted to go over some of the things we're going through right now, which is where we are. We are getting slammed with snow and ice and rain. I'm surprised it's not raining cats, dogs, um, ducks, and everything else in between. Because it's really nasty out there. Even my little pooch did not want to go out. And she loves, loves going outside. But this time even with the coat. And her boots and everything. She was not having it. She went in her little grass indoor little park I have for her. Yep. Um, and she loves it. Like, 
also love uh, Miss Mindy Cat. She's adorable. I love her stories. Um, anyways, um, also Elias. Had a shout out to my little guy, Elias. Um, so yeah, as I was saying last time, uh, ASMR is something that I think it does get studied more. It does work. I am currently trying it on somebody that um, I care about. And this person is in need of medical attention. And I believe that medical attention should be first tried in a natural way. And don't think when I say natural that it means non-effective. Because that is the mentality that nowadays people have, that if it's natural, it means it's BS and it doesn't work. And let me tell you, BS is thinking that it does not work. My great-grandparents, my great-grandfather lived to be 105, and he never took a Tylenol or an aspirin in his life, and he smoked pure hand-rolled cigar. And he drank 100 proof moonshine. He couldn't start a go-kart with that stuff. And he worked from sun up to sundown. And he ate his lunch every day at noon and had his little shot of drink. And would have a one hour nap and would go right back to work. It was exactly one hour. It was always, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't say it was almost militarized. He was right on the spot on everything, and God bless his soul. That man's word was worth gold. He would get anything and everything. When he says, I promised, everything would drop and get approved. That's how awesome my grandpappy would. I miss him and my grandmother. Don't get me going. That's why we should thank God that we have everybody in our life, whether they're part of the French a-holes or, or straight up angels. Everybody's got their purpose, believe it or not. Everybody has a purpose in your life. Whether they drive you freaking nuts or just are heavenly to be around. It's up to you. Where do you want to be around the most? But I choose not to be around conflictive people. I just get confused because my nature is to be good. And when I see people not be good, I walk away and find it very hard to see why people don't understand that behind every action there's a reaction so if you act good you will be surrounded by good and you will get good back but if you're a jerk the only thing is that people that are going to be attracted to you are going to be bigger jerks So, in that sense, you could make up your own mind and think, what would you like? Would you like to be surrounded by nice people? People that help you be better, become better, be proud of things that you have accomplished in reality, or fakeness that does not hold water. So my grandfather always taught me to be honest and your word is worth gold and that's how I've treated it and that's how I am. I hope you don't hear the